Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Replicant Fish. Women are so desperate nowadays, especially women that hit the wall. Now they're offering cash prizes to help them find a mate. Instead of just using, you know, matchmakers, they're paying their friends to help matchmake for them. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And it's time for that chow. It's chow time. Single 34-year-old woman offers 5K to anyone who can find her a husband. <laughs> wow, that is somewhat desperate, somewhat cheap as well, but wow, interesting. Dating game can be a whole hot mess express. That's why one California woman is now offering $5,000 in referral cash to anyone who can successfully find her a husband. And we want to see this work. So what started with a string of bad dates and a funny conversation with her best friend turned into this viral TikTok moment when Eve Tilly Colson posted her $5,000 offer to her more than 100,000 followers. Take a listen. Okay, before we have a listen, do you think this is a very modern woman thing? Yes. For modern women to have it all yet still have to pay 5K for a referral fee just to find a husband. <laughs> that's not how much she's paying for the husband and it's not even like professional matchmakers or anything it's just her friends and then her one hundred thousand dollars or one hundred thousand followers like do you really think you're gonna get quality man from this <laughs> that's five grand if that's five grand if a friend can secure her a husband to be <laughs> Wow. I am the table. Now, she's a modern woman who can do whatever she wants to. She's free to do whatever she wants to do. But are we seeing a glimpse of what's to come in the future in knowing a lot more women are going to be single in the future? I mean, because of passport bros, yeah, there's a lot of less men that want to deal with this. So now you're like pretty much having to pay people to find someone that will tolerate you. Future. A lot of men are single now and will be so in the future as well. So it's Correct. not just about women. With the many articles stating more women are going to be single by 2030 and 2030 plus, are we going to see more, let's not say desperate, you know, let's not say desperate, but more eager. Yeah, you probably say eager. Eager <laughs> ways women are pursuing, you know, a lifelong partner. Now, he is sweet. You know, you can't say he's sweet. Some would say he's fucking sad. Yeah, you already see some fucking sad shit. Yeah. You know, modern times are crazy. Some people would say that, but I mean, uh, what do you think? I just met with my boss like a couple years ago, and I've now added my best friend, her husband, and a couple other friends. But I feel like I'm just going to open it up to the general public because I'm good for it. So the bet slash offer is if you introduce me to my husband and I marry him, I will give you $5,000. I don't have to stay married to him for long. I can get divorced in 20 years. It doesn't matter. But if you introduce don't even have to stay married for long. So you just really want a wedding. You're paying $5,000 to someone so they can get you a wedding with some random guy that might not work. That's how desperate things are now, lady. Woo. Introduce me to a man that I walk down the aisle and get married to. I will give you $5,000. My DMs okay. are open. I, wait a minute. Wait, my, and divorce him in three years? No, that doesn't. That's not successful. Eve Tilly Colson is here with us now. Let's let her her explain to tell more yeah, about explain. her. Offer. You have some explaining to do. Yeah, you have some explaining to do. What inspired? Obviously, you want a husband. You want to be married. But what? At what point did it turn from a desire to I will pay anybody five thousand uh, dollars who brings me a successful husband? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> now, before she continues, men. Man, how would you feel knowing that, you know, you meet a woman and you think it may be, you know, you were introduced to her and it was somewhat genuine. But imagine if you find out down the line that that person was paid, that person was paid and you were treated like some man whore, like a piece of man meat, <laughs> trash already, trash. That sounded wrong, but you get my point. Treated basically like a piece of property. Basically, you weren't introduced to a lovely woman and you built something. No, nope. This was arranged. Now, if you knew about it, it's different. It's different, probably. But a question, how would you feel knowing that this person was paid to introduce you to someone? Now, some men wouldn't care, be like, yeah, yeah, go on, yeah, go on. Or would that make you feel deceived because it's not genuine? But then again, who cares if it's genuine? It's 2023. What the right. fuck is genuine? Right. Sure. So I had so many of my friends say, you know, I have a friend that I want to introduce you to, or I have a brother that you should meet. And they just kind of never went forward with it. They wouldn't ever actually introduce me to them. It that says something about you, probably, <laughs> that your friends had some people, but they never introduced you because they probably got like, mm, 
they probably told you told their friend about you and then their friend was like uh no thank you it's you know their lives are busy etc and i kind of just thought okay well what if i gave them an incentive and something that kind of like made it worth it, it was also a little bit fun um and I said it to a couple of them and they were like, okay, that's a good idea. And it kept pushing and pushing. It's a decent amount of money. It's a decent, you know, it's a decent amount of money. It's sort of pimpish, isn't it? I mean, it's sort of pimpish. I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, uh, what am I talking about? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, but I mean, but I mean, hey, you can understand why matchmakers happen. Like, yo, five grand. I, yo, I wonder how many times I can do this. I wonder. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just saying. But they still weren't actually introducing me to anyone. Um, so I just kind of put it out online and thought my TikTok following like knows my personality. They know my sense of humor. They know what I'm looking for. So they're going to find you. They don't know shit about you, lady. Your TikTok followers, you think they really know about? <laughs> like, come on. It's like saying my subs know like everything about me and they, you know, can make a pick a perfect girl for me or something like it's so stupid your man that is bullshit you're gonna find your man that i don't know if that's insulting or not but you're relying on your tiktok community your audience to find your man yeah it's, it's like it's like me saying your audience yo yo <laughs> yeah your audience yeah yeah get me a woman <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you guys watch me for entertainment they watch her for entertainment they're not gonna work for her <laughs> that's like yeah, no offense. Oh, Somebody man. Bring me some beat up, beat down, just some downtrodden chick like Earfish. Yeah, yeah. She's lovely. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. I know she's lovely. But seriously, she is using everything to her power, including her audience, to help her find a man. It is very modern woman of her. It Interesting. Is. And they've been really supportive on this, like, kind of journey through singleness. Yeah. Um, so I thought, why not give them the opportunity to? I, I Shoot your shot. I mean, I, I'm wondering about your friends and, like, whether they regret not just helping you out here. But you can Damn. Oh, you shit. Know, <laughs> no way. You have some bad friends. Right? Yeah, I, I didn't think about it either, that your friends are so shitty that uh, you had to end up trying to, like, bribe them to... <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. That's some trash friends. You have to pay him to get your man. I couldn't do it for free. I didn't think of that bit. But oh, yeah, true. I didn't think of that. Damn, you got some shitty friends, woman. Yeah, you do. She's smiling through her pain. You know, she's smiling through the pain. But yeah, pretty much. That's a good point. You got some crap friends. They couldn't get you a man. You have to pay. She's smiling because she's getting all the attention. That's why she's smiling. Pay him five stacks just for them to even think of getting you a man. Wow. It's like your frenzy enemies woman. You, sh you should probably think about that a bit more. For dating services, I mean, they charge thousands of dollars. You go through an interview process, a vetting process. Why not do that instead of doing it on your own? Sure. Well, I think that, unfortunately, yes, I have done a couple of those different options and I've been. So she's already used dating, you know, gurus slash matchmakers and it didn't work out. So, <laughs> oh man, lady. How far are you hitting the wall here? In a couple of those different pools. Um, and I feel like, unfortunately, they just don't necessarily know my value system or know my sense of humor in the same way that, like, I know her value system. So I'm going to assume that she's uh, wanting the perfect man with the perfect match and everything. I'm going to assume that. A close friend would. Right. Um, or even, honestly, my followers. Um, so yeah. I felt. There was like a personal touch there that I wanted um, and the dating apps just have kind of become a crutch for people. And yeah. after COVID, people aren't really like meeting out in public as much. So it seems kind of like a logical alternative. Now, off the top, we, we said that you had a string of bad dates. This is a personal question, but can you share the worst experience that you've ever had? Can we say as a 34 year old woman that she's, I mean, not that her options are limited. <laughs> we're not going to, we're not going to do that. We're going to be more balanced. Not that she's hit the wall and smashed into it. Therefore, you know, she's going to struggle right now. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do no, that. We're but not saying that, you know, right. she's like a 34 year old woman and her options aren't really as, they're not as, you know, as wide as they once were when she was probably you know younger can we say that they're, she may have not had like to do this a 34 year old because yeah finding them naturally at that age is not going to be easy for her at 24 did she have that problem she probably didn't she nope. probably didn't but at 34 years old she's having to reach <laughs> no it's, it, it's too much and seek beyond just relying on her friends and friendship no she has to pay him pay him to hustle her up a man hustle her up a man manifestation is not working looking isn't working apps aren't working 
right? I thought manifestation worked. All you gotta do is just manifest your husband, manifest the perfect man. He'll just appear in your life. I didn't know you had to pay for manifestation. $5,000 is a lot to be paying for that. Looking, no, 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 no. She's gonna just, you just pay one of her friends to just, you just get me a man. I'm just fucking tired of this shit. Get me a man. He left me. Wow. Speculation, obviously. Yeah, like, how day, bad was it? Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, I went on a, I think it was a third date um, and we went on a hike and uh, we met at his apartment in advance of the hike um, to drive in a car together. And uh, he showed me the bullet hole because he'd accidentally oh, oh. put a hole in his wall the night mm. before. Why the fuck was he shooting his house? The fuck? He accidentally <laughs> shot a hole in no, his wall? No, he said he accidentally shot a hole in his wall. He said he did. We don't know. If but, and then he real. showed me the hole. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like about to go on a hike with him. And I was like, uh, uh, I, I what red flag. Want? And then did you run? Red flag, really. I mean, and a guy with a bullet hole in his wall, that's too much. Probably is a red I'm not saying, flag. I'm not saying, God. you know, she should date him because uh, he probably is a red flag, to be honest. You know, what? why is he shooting the wall randomly? Who knows? He could be crazy. He could be nuts. But I'm just saying, like, it's, you know, you're paying for a man. So, I mean, I'm not saying she should be happy with what she gets. That's not what I'm saying. That's fucking ridiculous. But there are people out there. <laughs> I don't know these people, but there are people out there that may say, yeah, you know, you probably deserve that man. That's probably your limit, woman. Disgusting. A man that's randomly shooting holes in a wall. That's <laughs> that's probably your type of man. It, you, don't, you shouldn't shoot. You shouldn't shoot above your means. Ooh. Like he's shooting the wall. Run out. You just. I got to go. I got to yeah, meet him. Yeah. What you said. <laughs> it was <laughs> ended quickly. Okay, in case your future husband might be watching <laughs> this nation right now, which I, fingers crossed, that is the truth. <laughs> Describe the perfect guy for you. Sure. So I always tell my friends it's like the perfect wedding date. I want him to be able to dance with my grandmother, what? or take shots with my brother, what? or work the room, but also... <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, I didn't see this part. You wanted to be able to dance with your grandmother. What? Okay. <laughs> I get the point. It's, it's nice. It shows that he's probably caring and he's warm, I guess. <laughs> hey, babe, be careful, woman. Dudes out there will probably try to smash your grandma. I'm just saying... <laughs> <laughs> oh that was so wrong well let's carry on like come back check in on me wow. um you know bring me a drink that's lovely I, I want him to be able to make conversations and hold his own but oh. also knows kind of when to check in and be there beside me oh yeah. does he need to be an extrovert all the time or can he be somebody who likes that quiet one-on-one -on -one time where you guys can both like watch a movie on a he just has to be a fantasy make-believe man of some kind I see why she can't find a man and these matchmakers just probably gave up or <laughs> they're the ones that she paid professionally. <laughs> that women are going to piece together from a romance film, a romance novel, and their own illusionary delusions about men. That motherfucker back there is not real. Is it accurate? Who knows? If it applies and let it stick to him, like shooting a bullet through a wall, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. <laughs> Saturday night, you always have to be out. No, I think that's perfectly fine. I call Sundays hibernation days because wow. they're when I get my back together. Okay. So Look at all the women. Yes. Preach. It's like how oh, the sisterhood is just so cringy. Good thing. Totally fine with a mix of that. I'm pretty extroverted, so it would be okay to have that balance. Um yeah, I, I'm open to that. I will say the only physical requirement I have is that he's six foot or taller, and that's because I'm 5'10", and I've had girl. some guys be in my height. Girl. Okay, she's a tall girl, <laughs> and he's got to be six foot plus. At 34, woman, you should probably be dating short dudes that are shooting at walls, to be honest. <laughs> no? I'm saying she should not settle. But if she has to, it'd probably be a short dude that's just randomly shooting up the walls. Girl, um, the three of us. some confident short men. I'm just yeah. telling you, we're all tall. But I'm saying, you might want to open up your parameters with the height thing. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how tall she is. Dude, even the freaking women are telling her to be more realistic about fucking height. Holy shit. That's the first time I've seen that happen in fucking one of these types of talk shows. I've got some long legs. Woo! Are we seeing the beginning of something that's going to get more and more in the future? Women paying for the referral, for the opportunity, the chance of meeting her husband damn oh man and they call passport bros desperate you know we're not paying people to find us wise or you know we just travel and go look for our own <laughs> 
it's sad that your friends had people for you, but they never introduced it to you because you were probably crazy. And you're, you're, you're delusional with your uh, requirements. That's exactly why they probably didn't end up meeting these people. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. It's job time.